This movie tells a story about a US soldier who suffers a traumatic brain injury while fighting in Afghanistan and struggles to adjust to life back home. First of all, Jennifer Lawrence's performance is good in this movie. She brings her signature attitude that balances tenderness with feistiness in her character's effort to remain reserved and closed off. Her co-star is also decent, and the two has good chemistry that makes learning about their histories interesting. Unfortunately, the movie itself is boring. Some good performances and well-meant ideas don't do quite enough to correct the glibness and triteness in this self-conscious drama. The movie is a slog as the narrative is really flat. It's a state effort to find a story to match the weight of its lead performance. Very little happens throughout the film as the movie is reluctant about presenting real narrative driving drama. It feels really slow, quiet, and meandering to a fault. The movie coasting in first gear for the majority of its 92-minute runtime and comes off as really boring. The script says very little about Lindsay's past and the ghosts that haunt her in New Orleans. There's potential drama involving her mother that's going nowhere as Lindsay's mother randomly disappears from the picture. There's something too easy about the plot, and there are risk-free plot contrivances which never lets Lindsay behave too badly or too unattractively. The brain injury from which Lindsay is supposedly suffering feels too smooth, with its lack of unsightly symptoms or visible wounds. The script derives most of its value from one-on-one -on -one conversations between the characters as well. One keeps waiting for the movie to break open, for the tightly held secrets to come flooding out, which unfortunately, it's not the case here. The film would rather skim along the surface, never allowing us to get that deep. The aesthetic of this movie is really flat as well. The movie is shot inertly and paced poorly. The camera work is as inert and staid as our protagonist's face. The camera never moves until Lindsay is ready to do the same. The movie also fails to do anything worthwhile with a great location in New Orleans, as its shot compositions are mostly drab and uninteresting. Overall, this movie is only worth if you are a big fan of Jennifer Lawrence. Just don't expect any good plot from this, as this movie is more like a character study. We do not recommend to watch this in theater. Just wait on your streaming service.